Okay, to, so today Mr. Gardner wants to get in on the fun of making some videos. What are you making today, Mr. Gardner? I want to make butter. Why? Why not? Because you can? Because we can. Yeah. Okay, so what does it take to make butter? Um, heavy whipping cream uh -huh. and a blender. And a blender. And Where'd you get this idea? Um, the internet. The internet. One Good old my, internet. Yeah, one of my friends posted a video. I thought, that's pretty cool. I'll have to try that. Did you ever do that as a kid? In school with a little baby food jar? I never did. No. Oh, okay. So no wonder you have, you're so fascinated with this. Yeah. Is there something I, wrong with that? No. Ooh. Cream all set at the top of that one. Yeah. So. It's on the internet, so it's got to be easy, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to step back. <laughs> Scoot over that way just a little bit. Okay. That way. Yeah. And I know what it takes to make butter, so I'm going to pull up the chair. It sounds real gloppy. Yeah. Now is that... It's just, is that whipping cream or heavy cream or what is that? Heavy whipping cream. Okay. Is it room temperature or is it uh, frozen cold. or just cold? It's been, been sitting in the refrigerator overnight, so. Okay. Hopefully it was in the refrigerator before that. Yeah. Okay, what speed are you on there? Six. Okay. And are you using the paddle or the whipper? The uh, whipper. One of those things, okay. We're just using the kitchen aid here, huh? Yep. Well, when you saw this on the internet, how long did it take? Uh, it depends, you know, from 10 to 20 minutes. Oh. So. I'm glad I'm sitting down. <laughs> that, yeah. What does it look like right now? See the thick gloppy bubbles on the side. Yeah. When they say heavy, they mean heavy. So do you just do it on six for the whole time or um well it's just been on five, but five is only to put the Put the shield on it and fry it higher. It just sits on the top. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what were you? It's still it's whipping cream. Yeah. And it's starting to form the soft feet. Cool. You've never made whipped cream before either. I take it. No. A whipped cream, you put some uh, sugar in there. And a little vanilla, maybe, if you want. Or other flavorings, if you like it. So, are you going to make whipped cream for our next family dessert? We can try it. We can make experimenting in your family. Right. Stop it for a second and stick your finger on the edge sheet. So you can see what the consistency is. Yeah. Just put, poke your finger in there and get some. Does it feel like regular whipped cream? Yeah. Don't taste like it though, does it? Does no. it milk? Tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like milk. <laughs> milk, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to see that part. So really start separating them into kind of fat and better cream.
Okay, we've got some Celtic sea salt here. How much is it? Half teaspoon? Half teaspoon. Well rounded half teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Turn it up and beat the daylights out of it. You might want to stop it and scrape the sides down. Yeah. I want to can see what's moving and what's not. Beautiful creamy butter. Beautiful pale yellow color. Are you happy with yourself? <laughs> we made butter. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hmm. I wonder what this comes out to price point wise versus buying butter in the store. How much was that heavy whipping cream? $4.50. Okay, so it's about the same price as buying yeah. a pound of butter. I buy something for one dollar and you can do it yourself too. You know? <laughs> Did you taste it? Yeah. Does it need more salt? No, actually it doesn't. Does it need more salt? I don't think so. Well, here, fill up hmm. that. Put some, put some butter in that. Oh, uh, I think we still need to. What? You got moisture from ice cubes in there, too. Oh, yeah. You take a knife and cut the, see the air gaps? Slice down through it. It'll give it room to release. Still got a lot left? Yeah. Gotta leave room for the lid. Okay, so put the lid on that, but don't, don't take that off yet. Oh, okay. Because I have an idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I said, leave room for the lid. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you're going to make something, you might as well go all out and really cover all bases, right? Yeah. Okay. How much butter is left in there? There's enough in there to make some honey butter. How's that sound? Here, I've hmm. got some local honey from Blue Sky Farms. Oh, yeah. Is it? It's not focusing on that. some of that in there and start whipping it up together. Start a drizzling. Put in there. As much as you want. At least a good tablespoon. Nice 
nice and hooked up. It's not a real dark honey, so it didn't darken up the butter a whole lot. Still forming nice stiff peaks. take the beater off and kind of tap it to get the excess butter off of it. Can you taste the honey in it? Yeah, so it was good. Chunks of salt in there. Okay. Scrape that off. <coughs> and we got that darker orange bowl for the honey butter. Excuse me. Allergies galore. <coughs> Beautiful batch of some whipped honey butter, too. On your throat? Yeah, I had a little chunk of that. So. Oh. You got the, butt, the bowl completely cleaned out there? Majority of it. Okay. Take a butter bun, freshly yeah. made by your mother this morning, and we can taste it. Yeah. You're not going to taste it? Knife schmife. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, it works too. <laughs> mm, real light. A little crunch of the salt, like you said. We need to find a finer salt next time. Yeah. Nice, though. Nice flavor. Hmm. I think we're catching some of the salt that just flew up to the side of the bowl, too. Okay. Is that past mustard? Yeah. Does that, the honey, the one that you just pulled out of the bowl, mm -hmm. did that still have chunks of salt in it? A little bit. Mm. Big ol' helping. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, tastes like butter. Mm -hmm. What's your salty butter? Mm. Yeah, a little salty. That's all right. Fun little experiment for this afternoon. Yeah, End up with something yummy. Yeah. So, does that get a thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for playing with us today, Mr. Gardner. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Do that again. Yes, It'll be fun to make some, uh, make some different flavored butters. Make the butter and then turn them into compound butters for Christmas presents. Oh, there you go. You know, make the butter and mix seasonings into it and wrap it up and freeze them. 
little compound butter for over the top of a steak. Yeah. Or a pile of asparagus or Anything. whatever sounds yummy. Into the refrigerator they go. Yeah. Enjoy, everybody. That was fun. Bye. This is hometown to homestead gal Gardner. Enjoying a piece of bread with freshly made butter. <laughs>